I got sent this clip of Peter Atia talking about semaglutide on Megyn Kelly talking about people losing lean mass. Take a look. I see behind the scenes of what it's doing to people, and I'm sure other doctors can tell you similar stories. Ideal weight loss would be if you lose 20, 15 of it should be fat, five of it should be lean mass. So you can't just lose fat mass, but three quarters of your weight loss should be fat mass. When we're putting patients on these drugs, we're doing DEXA scans before and after. This is something the FDA did not require the company to do when they sought approval. We're seeing two thirds of the weight loss is lean mass. Only one wow. third is fat mass. Wow. So they're getting lighter, Megan, but they're getting fatter. Peter says he's sure other doctors are seeing this and I'm gonna say no, they are not. In fact, I oversee one of the largest GLP-1 providers. Sequence is my uh, program. We have over 20,000 members on these medicines, many of who have gotten uh, DEXA scans and other body composition scans. And in fact, I asked many of my members this uh, issue and they sent me all their DEXA scans and I never saw anything like this. There have been studies, subgroup analyses, of semaglutide and also terzepatide, mind you, looking into this. You can see that the semaglutide, there is a slight increase in lean mass loss compared to what is expected. It gets to around 40% lean mass loss. I've never seen it in my clinical population. When you look at terzepatide data though, it's around 25%, right where we would expect lean mass loss. I had to make a comment on this video because honestly, I just feel like it's complete fear mongering. I can tell you, I can promise you, my experience along with my provider's experience have much more than uh, Peter has seen in these patients. I've had many uh, physicians reach out to me who are obesity experts and specialists say they have not seen this kind of lean mass loss. If you prescribe these medicines in the appropriate patients, and of course I'm a resistance training shill and uh, promote higher amounts of uh, protein. Again, I don't see this uh, harm uh, and I haven't seen it. Uh, it does need to be studied, and I know my company will be uh, pioneering this uh, world. So I don't think there's an issue.